good evening and welcome to our live crafting session this evening. It is Thursday the 19th of September 2024. My name is Jenny McCormack and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire and that is here in the UK. Sorry about the background noise, <laughs> that is um, Chino enjoying a treat ball. I'm just trying to make sure that she's quiet and Woody, my other dog, is quiet. He's outside with his treat ball. Um, so fingers crossed we won't have any interruptions this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi Caroline. If you're watching live, do say hi. If you're watching on Catch Up or Replay, whether that is here on Facebook or whether you catch us and prefer on YouTube, then a warm welcome to you. If you have any queries or comments, you like what you've seen, um, then do add a comment and subscribe to our videos and accept notifications from Facebook. That will tell you when we're going live. We have a new stamp set of the week. I am preparing for my catalogue launch on Saturday, so my craft room is covered with samples, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and new stamp set, new die sets, all labelled up ready. Um, and so it was quite difficult to choose what I was going to do this week. And in fact, I have changed my mind from my original plan just because I've had a play with this with some samples and um, it's just a really easy stamp set to use and it's perfect for coffee and card because it has multiple images which means unless everybody happens to want all four same images at the same time it can go around <coughs> everybody at coffee and card and they don't have to wait too long for any particular images to be provided. Um, just to show you a couple, I had, um, so I'm just doing samples really ready for my catalogue launch. Um, so here are two tags. This one features two, um, this stamp here which has got the two houses together and then this one features the church. I have put Wink of Stella on the roofs on the snow. Hi Carol, hi Fran. Um, good morning to Fran and good evening to Carol. And I've used a blending brush with a little bit of blue ink for the bases. You could actually leave all of this absolutely white if you wanted to. And that's why I say it's perfect for quick cards because you can literally just stamp, um, add a little bit of detail if you want to and add a sentiment. There in the set, there's this lovely... Um, little circles of snow there's a brick wall there's a little line of snowflakes in a banner a little tree and a larger tree and then four different scenes one with two houses and obviously you can multiply these scenes up we've got the lovely church and then we've got a little cottage and then another little house in the snow so really easy to use these were the two samples that I've started with for coffee and card and I have coloured these in but so that my alcohol markers don't come through what I've done is I've cut two tags and once I've done the colouring in I put the second tag on the back I've actually adhered them together so that you don't see the alcohol markers through if I show you what it would look like if I didn't do that you could also put a coloured tag on the back, but that's perfect for writing your to from message. And I don't know if you can see the Winker Stoller, I suspect you probably can't in this light. Sorry, that's reflecting, isn't it? Um, so really quick and easy tags to do. And then just to show you, this is what we're going to recreate today. Um, basically, you can just stamp your house is going along uh, they all have this wavy line here and it doesn't matter if it doesn't match up exactly but it does make it easier to keep them roughly in line 
or you could do the church on its own and with that one I've added a tree at the side hi Patricia and hi to you Jill um, this one has the tree as it comes with the set and then you can use watercolour pencils if you want to for a little bit of colouring in because it's a small area you could use stamp and write markers I don't know if that's in focus or not, it doesn't look focused to me, but I'm looking at my screen, which is quite a long way away. Um, so I'm just going to show you how easy this is to create a card. So um, my offer for Stamp Set of the Week, if you order that before the 28th of September, is that you will get five of our note cards and envelopes and five of the layers that I'm going to use as we're going to use for coffee and card and what you can do is if you bought another pack of those oh well done Jill then that will give you 25 cards this stamp set is 18 pounds you can find it on page 56 of our catalogue which is this one here so it's just line art there's no dies that go with it so it keeps it nice and inexpensive for you and there are a few samples on here there's one here in a frame there's this one that they put on the front of a candle and then they've got this one on um looks like some oh it looks like a car that's been stamped with the starry sky not the starry sky the falling snow background stamp and funnily enough I completely missed that when I looked at this I thought that was the embossing folder because we do have an embossing folder that has snow on it um, and I just realized well realized two days ago that it's actually a stamp so I have ordered that because I think the snowflake stamp is perfect um, for your snowy backgrounds but you could easily use an embossing folder if you wanted to or something like this um, snow effect which is from us um, class in the box for this month which is this one here this is one of the cards and if you can see the background it's got lots of little holes in it um, to emulate the snow falling so you could use that as well but we're going to stick nice and simply we're just literally going to do some stamping we'll add a sentiment and um, do a small amount of colouring so let's just stamp two seams nice and quickly and then we're going to mount those onto note cards and envelopes so I hope everybody is well it's been a beautiful day here it starts off quite chilly but it's definitely warm this afternoon um, Woody and I went for a nice long walk and uh, all I needed was uh, my t-shirt and jeans I didn't need a cardigan or a sweatshirt or anything okay um, let's see let's do some houses to start with so you've got three sets of houses one has two houses together and these are sort of townhouses for want of a better description and then you've got um, this one here which is more of a, a cottage if you can see that one on there or not hi Trudy hi Kathy thanks for joining us um, I'm guessing that's Illinois but do um, correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> I'm so sorry okay so you could stamp these really in any color that you have so you could use pebble path you could use early espresso you could use knight of navy you could use balmy blue any of the blues really um grays hi trudy hope you're getting ready for your holidays so i'm going to do one vertically and one horizontally like that so i hope the um distance and everything is okay um let's start here so you can start with them off the end or you could start one in the middle and then have two houses either side for this one i actually did this with two either side um but it's entirely up to you 
I'll probably just recreate that because this is just our introduction. So this is what we're doing at Coffee and Card tomorrow in Brackley and Monday and Tuesday of next week. So I'm just going to pop this one centrally. I think when I did it, um, just for my sample, I just started, f for some bizarre reason, I started from the right. I don't know why that is. So I'm using Pebbled Path, but really, you could use any, as I say, any grey. You could use black if you wanted, any of the blues. Um, I guess you could also use, yeah, any of the browns, pecan pie or something like that. Hi, Nicole. A good evening to you in the Netherlands. So all I'm going to do is position the next house on the right hand side and I'm just going to try but I'm not going to worry too much and join the bottom edge of the snow line to this one. So I probably need to take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing and the light at the moment <laughs> is still light but it's going down very very quickly here at the minute of an evening. So let's pop that one there. So can you see I've just joined those together like that. If you had a little gap, just use a pen. If you've got like a liner pen or something, I've got this one here, which actually is a dark gray. So if I had a missing bit, I could use that. Or if I wanted to extend this line out to the side, I could just going to stamp this other house on the left hand side uh, sorry the same house it is and again I'm just looking roughly to line those up together like so uh, while I'm here let's stamp the church this way so the church is um, quite a little bit bigger this one here and you could definitely have a house to the side I think probably this cottage will look nice to the side of the church but nice quick and easy to use let's add the church and the tree ah Jill ordered this set yesterday well done were you taking advantage of the free shipping yesterday? Was that yesterday? I can't remember. <laughs> it was yesterday because we had a team meeting, that's right. It's so easy to lose track of days at the minute. Just got a lot going on at the moment, which is good. I'm not complaining at all. All right, so let's pop our church. Um, let's have the church here on the right hand side not for any particular reason like so and then I've got the tree so it's got one tree with it and then I'm going to add another tree here on the left hand side there we go and I might just put one here on the right let me just put a little bit of with paper underneath I do need to give my work surface a good clean actually Oops. Yep, that doesn't want to come out I'll just use this piece here what's it got on it sending love your way that's a few years old that one Okay, so let's add a tree here on the right hand side, like so. And I've got this line here, so let's just see. Funny enough, this is almost the same sort of colour as Pebbled Path. So what I can do, and it's can you see it's got broken lines, so rather than try and draw a line in, the best thing to do is either do lots of little dots like this or um, have some little breaks like that whereas if you draw a line um, and it doesn't fit 
to your other piece it can look a bit it can really draw attention to itself so all I've done there is just some sort of little dashes across there okay I think we could add a sentiment to those two and then we'll just do some really quick colouring in as I say you could get away with leaving this fairly white and because it could just be all covered in snow um, and add a bit of Wink of Stella obviously let's find a sentiment what have I got to hand um, this is a cute stamp set called Snowy Wonder this is another one that's destined for coffee and card um, I think the Let It Snow would be quite nice and then you could put Season's Greetings inside this has also got Holly and Penguins, Snowmen little chalets, trees present, snowflakes, um, holly berries and holly uh, actually some different trees as well and three really nice sentiments so watch out for that so I've got let it snow and I think I'm probably going to add that in a blue ink I think Um, I'm going to have a little bit of snow and stuff in the sky. Let me just see. It might have maybe as just a hand. I've got Misty Moonlight or Mysterious Broom, which is the French translation for Misty Moonlight an abund blau it's presumably the German okay so I haven't used this stamp set for snowy wonder so oh I've got my chink in here either hmm I need definitely need it darker than that try that one so we were using quite a lot of blending brushes last week and that does tend to use up your um, ink pads but this looks better let it snow perfect okay so when you have a new stamp set you do want to stamp it out a few times just to make sure if there's any surface um, covering that the, you've got rid of that so Oh, good question. Top left or bottom right? <laughs> I'm going to do this one bottom right, I think. I can see I've missed a bit through the block. I have got some new blocks coming. I think I told you that last time. I just want to make sure that's synced up right. There we go. Right, so let's pop this... Sorry, I think this is also low low on ink. Okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> right, let's just clean it off. I'm sorry, it just doesn't look like it's taken the ink properly. Okay, that looks better. So just giving it a clean. Just taking that surface level off. Right, so I'm gonna on this one I'm going to put my let it snow bottom right hand side like that. And then on this one I'm going to have it top left or maybe just sort of in the middle. There. let it snow and then 
just a little bit of detail so the size of this that I'm using is three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches and that's because it fits our note cards which are three and a half by five when they're folded and let's add some snow to the top so I've got balmy blue I'm going to grab my little find my set and add the snow this little brick wall is rather nice too okay just gonna swap these out oh I had a block at the ready didn't realize okay so I'm just going to add this and if in doubt and you don't want it too dark just stamp it off first just going to work my way across here from one side to the other and I go over forgot to um, <laughs> stamp that one off I'm going over my sentiment but you could obviously go around it if you wanted to so let me lift that up so you can see it there it is and then let's grab the one with the church that's uh, I'm just going to do this one full strength just to save some time like that I'm not worried too much about any of this overlapping Just going to ink up half of these to go in there like that okay that was snowing quite a bit more hope you hopefully you can see that okay I'm going to leave that out I've got a blue brush and I'm just going to you could add that in, um, that detail to the sky actually let's do it on one I won't do it on both I'll just do it on one so I'm just going to come in you want to always come in off the page and you really don't need much once you've got uh, ink once you've got your blending brush soaked in ink for want of a better description you don't need to add a great deal unless you keep cleaning your brushes in which case you will need a little bit more okay so there's my sky hi joe haven't seen you for ages and with this one here you could leave it exactly like that you could tear a little bit of paper which is what i've done here show you on this little sample I tore some paper actually I stamped this again and and cut the paper um, and then just masked that off but I don't want too much blue on here so what I might do is just tear a little bit of this and just brush down the edge now you could use a little bit of gray if you wanted to rather than blue but very often if you look at especially freshly um, laid snow it has a blue tinge to it very often so if you want to of course your ground could be um, green if you wanted it to be um, and then I'm just going to add just a little bit around here, but not a great deal. Okay, make sure that your um, ink, if you've stamped something, is dry. Because if you've got a wet ink on your blending brush, you can um, smudge the ink. So that is it, stamped as is with no colouring. 
let's do just a small amount so somewhere on my desk I put some pens um, at the ready here they are so I've got a little bit of green now the trees of course could be completely covered in snow so you don't necessarily have to um, colour them in this is dark granny apple green so I'm just going to do a little bit and then leave some areas white as if it's snow you could leave the whole tree white and you could of course colour the whole tree in entirely up to you hmm. not convinced about that <laughs> so I think I'm going to colour that in leaving a few gaps here and there so it's not solid so I've got my tree there on the left hand side let's um, give this one the same treatment and then this one here that I added on the right okay like so I've got there's a wreath around this window of the church so I'm going to colour that in like so and I've got a little bit of red this tiny bow so for all of these I'm just using the fine tip of my alcohol markers because it's a small area you could definitely use um, stamp and write markers if you've got them okay so that's it left as is do you think I need to color the church in for this one I actually use I think um, light lemon lolly what do you think shall I color that in Hi Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. And Joe, hi again if you didn't catch me earlier. Okay, we'll deliberate on that while I do the other houses. <laughs> so here are the other ones that I stamped. So it's two stamps I've done. This one here and then this one, the same on either side. These have got snow on all the roofs, so you don't have to colour those in. But you can use the Wink of Stella. Um, our glitter brush and if you can see that it might show up a little bit better now I don't know maybe you can see it so let's just put that one there for a minute you let me know if you think I should colour my church in or leave it as is turn this over okay so I'm going to glitter my roofs and I'm going to add a little bit of blue again across here just for my edges of snow but you could as I say definitely use um, grey if you wanted and you could add more detail but this is for coffee and card so we need to keep it a relatively straightforward because I have a lot of beginner crafters and also we don't have much time we have an hour to do two cards and chatter and enjoy a drink so it needs to be the time we've all sat down and I've got myself organized we need to keep our cards fairly simple um, but this will feature at our catalogue launch on Saturday if anybody is free to join us and I will probably do an online catalogue event I'm not sure if I'll do it for Sunday because it's my twins birthday on Sunday and I'm not quite sure what plans we have for meeting up okay so I've just added a little bit of blue with my blending brush what's reflecting sorry 
um, just across here, just light. And let's add our Wink of Stella for our ruse. Just be careful not to catch too much of the ink. I have used Pebbled Path, which is a water-based ink. And obviously this Wink of Stella has, it's not water, but it has liquid in it. And if you're not careful and you brush a lot of that, it will pick up some of the ink and it can spread it. It doesn't matter for your Wink of Stella because you can just clean it off. But what you don't want is, in this case, a sort of grey, smudgy snow. Although when snow begins to um, thaw, of course, you get that horrible, horrible sludge. Right, so I'm just doing these elements here. I will do the same on the roof of the church. Like so. There's a tiny little bit on the chimney. And then you can also add some on here. And again, just be careful that you're not picking up. This is picking up a little bit of the balmy blue ink from here, and that's fine. Okay. Like so. So there's our little scene, and we can just do some colouring in for that. Um, so let's just use, I've got, uh, hopefully, yeah, light lemon lolly. No, it doesn't really matter which ones I do. And remember, when you put this on, it will evaporate and dry slightly lighter. So if you think, oh gosh, it's too dark, remember it will lighten. And if it's not light enough, you can use our colour lifter to take some of that out. Okay, I'm just going to make the roof the same colour. I know they wouldn't really be. Like so. And uh, let's have, what have I got here? Light, pretty and pink. Yeah, let's have a pink house. Obviously, they don't have to be coloured houses. You can do them brick colours. You could leave them white. You could do a very pale, smoky slate. and then we've got this bit here and I'm leaving the windows as they are now you could make this a really good night scene and have some night of navy behind or you know some really deep colors and then you could put um, any of the yellows in the windows to make it look like it was an evening you know a night scene um okay let's see have i got what have i got here to hand light crumb cake that will do for this one you could stamp these onto colored card and cut them out Um, you'd have to obviously these then wouldn't be white would they so maybe that's not such a good idea but I guess you could cut the base bit out okay. so this is light crumb cake I've used light pretty and pink and light lemon lolly there we go let's go to That. It's very sweet, isn't it? And I could do with a 
if I just had it for hand, <laughs> a light balmy blue, but let me see. Oh, that's so dark. I want a, a light something rather. Right, I've got a, a retired colour here, mint macaron. And it's, it's a light green. So all coming together so for our catalogue launch on saturday i have a buy one get one free we've got two make and takes that you can do um refreshments and um the cost of attending is 10 pounds but you get a free pack of the um, one of the new embellishments from the new catalogue plus a copy of the catalogue if you haven't got one already and there are lots of special offers on as well so if you um, haven't let me know that you want to come and you would like to come then just comment or message obviously you need to be local to me in Brackley in Northamptonshire or prepared to travel okay let's add a coloured door for this one I normally only do one card for our sample but I'm doing two today just because I think this Samson is so sweet okay here's a door for the pink house and let's do this one and also you could do these really vibrant colors I've gone for fairly um, subtle colors here there's a little bit of a bow um, I don't think you'll see it on there tiny little bow let's dot that in and just going to do that and if you wanted to do the windows you could do as well let's put that little bit of the chimney on So this is a very therapeutic set, just to sit and colour. But I would say you do need reasonable light to do that if you're working at night. Okay, so there's one that's all ready to go onto its card base. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I've got this one with my church. I think I'm going to just colour this in with some... Um, light crumb cake like so and then we are done so yes I'm packing everything up I've got um, retired items for our get buy one get one free so they've got to be priced up and I've got to do all that this evening because I'm off to a barn dance tomorrow evening. And our launch is on Saturday morning. So I think what I will try and do, if you can't make it, is um, bring all my have all my samples to show you for products from the new catalogue. Um, and then also do the make and take online so you can see that. Okay, so I'm just quickly colouring that in. Like so. So, um, which bit is the snow, do we think? <laughs> I'm guessing it's the bit at the top. I probably need to look at the samples in the catalogue to see. There we go. Nearly forgot the church spire. Okay. There we go. I'm going to colour the doors the same. Just for speed. There we go. 
right I think that's it so those are my two panels that I'm going to use for my cards I've got my cards ready here so these are our standard note come oops, note cards and envelopes they come in packs of 20 and I'm not going to add any layers I'm just going to keep them nice and simple you could stamp your season's greetings on the inside and this can either go flat or with dimensionals I'm just going to do this flat I've got my tape runner here that I'm going to use and now it is dark outside <laughs> I'm going to turn that around like so so there's one and here's our second one so you can have great fun with these you could have complete scenes on a larger card you could just have a single house like I have done with my two little tags here and then I'll have um, a tuna from and season's greetings on the back so there we go now for my envelopes I could stamp the little trees or I could stamp the houses or the church let's quickly put a couple of trees on here just to finish that off and I've got my pebbled path and we're done so I hope you like the designs they're very simple very straightforward as I said that's what we need for um, copying card let's put one on the back of the envelope just watching that ink I've got on the edge normally I would use a smaller block for that smaller stamp let's grab this one and do the same go and there and I could color those in I won't do those now but I could color those in when we finished I'll add a, um, a sentiment inside so I'll probably use from that snowy wonder that lovely season's greeting stamp and pop that on the inside so there we are, two cards, same stamp set, it's called Yuletide Village, four main stamps plus the trees and the snow and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, there's no sentiments in this so you would need either to leave them without sentiments or most people have sentiment stamps around don't they? Or peel offs if you're a fan of those. Hi Sandra, so we're just finishing up I'm afraid, um, but you'll be able to watch on replay very shortly, hope you had a good day. Um, so Yuletide Village, um, we've got two card designs here, this is what we're doing at Coffee and Card tomorrow in Brackley, Monday and Tuesday Toaster and Brackley as well, um, so I hope you like them. Great fun, nice and simple depending on how much colouring in you can make these very quickly if you had a lot of colouring in obviously you need a little bit more time but in, in, in the situation of actually stamping and getting a card together even if you just, just left it without any colouring um, you could make some really really quick cards so thank you so much for joining me um, I will put a bone folder on there when my hands are a bit cleaner and uh, <laughs> just make sure that's folded and sitting nicely so thank you so much have a great evening i look forward to seeing some of you at my catalog launch on saturday of this week and then online after but as i said i'm not sure um if it will be sunday i'm out saturday afternoon um so we'll i'll keep you posted basically um so thank you so much do take care
and have a good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are and when you're watching. And I look forward to crafting with you again really soon. Bye for now. Cheerio.